Oh, okay, I was about to say, is anybody in this room? No, we're just gonna look in an empty room, but. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Corypheus left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I yours, your worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. I haven't seen Divine Victoria as much as I'd wish these past few years. She has missed you as well, Inquisitor. There are few with whom the Divine can be herself. I suspect the same is true for you. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your Dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. And of course, there is the Tevinta Ambassador. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. The Imperium sent an ambassador. Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize to Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This exalted council, Ferelden would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. Why does it sound like there's like a warp engine on the Enterprise running in the background? Odd ambient noise in that room. Who doesn't know what? Okay, so what are we doing? Speak with the Orlesian ambassador. Alright, so who's around here? Varric is here. I definitely do want to catch up with some people, but let's do this in a, a systematic fashion. Was there anyone up here that mattered? Perhaps. That's the palace entrance. Let's take a look at the map and figure this out. Josephine, Sarah, Iron Bull. This is just like the Mass Effect Citadel DLC kind of. Black Walls over there. Varric is the only one in the middle. Colin. Well, I suppose we'll talk to Varric and then make our way over to the other side and see where things go from there. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchant's Guild. 
And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you! And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount. Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall. So why is he here with messages from the Merchant's Guild? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Ooh. Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out, you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. <laughs> That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, What's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a comp now. You can't actually do that without it. Too late. Already did it. <laughs> you should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> this is possibly too much, Farry. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without anything <laughs> from the council under special ceremony. It, it's just symbolic anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. <laughs> really? That is so much better than I thought. <laughs> This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. <laughs> anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. We'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. It's kind of funny. We're all a bunch of rich, fancy people now. Even Varric. Alright, what sort of random shenanigans? Buy, sell. Why would I want to... I mean, there's probably fancy stuff to buy and sell here, but... It's, it's kind of late in the game to be worrying too much about buying and selling stuff. I guess I can buy stuff that... I don't really care. Whatever. Hmm. Big statue. The hell are these people? Iron Bull, why are you tending a bar? That's weird. Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen. I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krim. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. You know what, Bull? I really like hitting things. <laughs> I know, right? We have the best job. <sighs> <laughs> Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. <laughs> It 
It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasra, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! <laughs> There's a lot of good funny moments here. Here's you and everyone. Glad to be back all stuffed together with the pressure full on again. Don't worry, Herald of Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Just like best times. Not even a prank. <laughs> I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. <laughs> do I seem like I'm ready to retire? I'm tired. I've never done anything for years. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends, and all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no, and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? You want the Inquisitor? Don't I have a few more titles than your usual Jenny? No offense. Some taken. <laughs> Words. Look, we don't want you. We want to be there for you. If you want to keep doing, it won't be nobles who help. It'll be friends. Well, all I have to say is call me Red Frigging Jenny. Way too confusing. You'll get a city. One that rhymes with ours. Oh! I should have said we needed a we instead of an us. Because... <laughs> Wait! Anus! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> uh, to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. Sarah was never in the group. What the hell was that? That is creepy. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> 